In the previous video, we learned how amino acids can condense together to make a peptide bond. What I'm showing here is the product of this when two amino acids condense together, and what we see is we make this new peptide bond, which we mentioned was an amide linkage. Okay, so in this video, we're going to think about uh, what these peptides look like when multiple amino acids condense together to make a longer polypeptide. All right, so let's go ahead and erase this. So before we even focus in on side chains, what we really want to do is make sure that we get the backbone drawn correctly. All right, this is absolutely the most important part of drawing peptides correctly. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to draw an NH2 group, right? We call this the N-terminus. This is the part of the polypeptide where we have a free amine. And then from the NH2 group, we have an alpha carbon, we have a carbonyl. We now form our peptide bond. Okay, so so far we've got nitrogen, alpha carbon, carbonyl, next nitrogen in the peptide bond. Next, we go to another alpha carbon, and then to a carbonyl, and then we make our peptide bond with another nitrogen. Alpha carbon, carbonyl, nitrogen. Alpha carbon, carbonyl, nitrogen. Alpha carbon, carbonyl, nitrogen. All right, so this theme keeps going and going until you reach what we call the C-terminus, which is the, um, the carboxylic acid end of our peptide. So I'll draw one more here. So instead of now making a peptide bond, we're going to go ahead and draw in the carboxylic acid. So this is a, a, a proper peptide backbone. Every single linkage is a repeating pattern of nitrogen, alpha carbon, carbonyl. Nitrogen, alpha carbon, carbonyl. Nitrogen, alpha carbon, carbonyl. If you don't see this repeating pattern, you have not drawn it correctly, okay? So we know that each alpha carbon then has, um, has an R group or a side chain hanging off of it. So this would be R1. We call this R2. This R3. And it's only when you start adding in the side chains that the actual amino acid matters. Right? Before you start putting in the side chain, when all you're doing is focusing on the backbone, it doesn't matter what these side chains are. It's only when you determine uh, what the amino acids are where the side chains matter. Okay? So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Um, let's say that we want to draw a polypeptide that has the sequence asp, ala, lice. Okay, you may remember the three letter abbreviations. If you don't, please become familiar with them. So asp is aspartic acid, ala is alanine, and lice is lysine. Okay, so we have, we call this a trimer. So it's three amino acids linked together. So when we draw this, we're gonna wanna draw two peptide bonds and then, at the, and then a free amine and a free carboxylic acid, okay? These are always drawn from the N-terminus to the C-terminus. So when we draw this, we need to have our amine group on the ASP and our carboxylic acid or our C-terminus on the lysine. These things are always arranged in this way. From the N-terminus, where we have the NH2, to the C-terminus, where we have the carboxylic acid. All right, so let's start off by simply drawing in the backbone. No side chains yet. Start off with your NH2. NH2, alpha carbon, carbonyl, that's the asp. Nitrogen, alpha carbon, carbonyl, that's our alanine. Nitrogen, alpha carbon, carbonyl, this is the lysine, and now we have our C-terminus. This is the backbone. You have to get this right before you can get the overall structure correct. And now it's just a matter of putting in the side chains. Okay, so aspartic acid, you might remember, is CH2 with a, carb with a carboxylic acid. Alanine is a CH3 
and lysine was the long chain with the amine at the end. So aspartic acid is CH2 with the carboxylic acid. Alanine is a CH3. Lysine was L-Y-S-I-N with the nitrogen there. Okay, so this is the trimer of asp lice. Let's try one more. So let's try gly, glue, ala, ser. Okay, so here we have four amino acids. We're going to have to draw three peptide bonds to link the four amino acids together. So let's go ahead and do this. We start with our NH2, our N terminus. Nitrogen, alpha carbon, carbonyl. Nitrogen, alpha carbon, carbonyl. Nitrogen, alpha carbon, carbonyl. Nitrogen, alpha carbon, and now carboxylic acid for the C terminus. I've drawn three peptide bonds linking together the four amino acids. Okay, I'll put in my side chains now. Glycine is a hydrogen, so I don't even really need to show it, but I will. Glutamic acid is CH2, CH2, and then we have a carboxylic acid. Alanine is just a CH3. Serine is CH2OH. Okay, so just to reinforce this one more time, when you're drawing peptides, draw the backbone first. Get that right. Once you have that, then add in the side chains. In the next video, we'll start thinking about some of the acid-base properties of these peptides.